Hi, welcome to Raised Sensation. I'm your host, Dan, and in this episode, uh, I'm going to take a look at a magazine called Berserker. Now, over the years, there's been many comics with the title Berserker. Well, I don't know many, but I've got a couple, uh, mostly independents. Um, but this is a new one, and no, I'm not talking about the Keanu Reeves Berserker. Um, this is a magazine, Berserker. Let's take a look and I'll show you exactly what this is about, okay? Okay, so here's, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, Berserker. It says, Grumpus presents Berserker by Bludgeon. Uh, this is volume one, September 2022. Um, now, somewhere along the line, I saw some artwork from this and I thought it was a comic. And uh, lo and behold, it is not. Um, so let's take a look at what it is. Now, first off, I want you to see this barbarian woman, this muscular barbarian woman, and notice that <laughs> the very little, you want to talk about Red Sonia not having much to protect her in a battle. Um, but not only that, but this piece down here is, uh, looks like it was made for easy access of some sort. Um, and it looks like the head she's carrying there is the head of another female. The female warrior, perhaps. Um, so there it is with the uh, cod piece removed. And uh, I don't think I'll get in trouble for this with e with uh, YouTube. Um, so the first thing when I got them that I noticed was, yes, it is illustrated. But it was, um, he, he gives a, the, they give a little um, background detail on uh, the things that uh, inspired them, you know. Uh, uh, basically uh, uh, talks about liking Conan and Red Sonja and ElfQuest comics, but the the uh, Conan the Barbarian movie seems to be a, and then with the, the Red Sonja um, seemed to have really kicked, kicked off something. But um, so... Uh, I will say that this comic, uh, this is not a comic. It is a magazine with a lot of illustrations. Uh, it does have a, um, it's not a, so much an explicit sexual component, but, um, you know, there's some descriptions of things that are, you know, make it a little spicy. And uh, some of the action has... You know, uh, what I would care, compare it to, and most people probably won't recognize this anymore, but Jose Farmer, Philip Jose Farmer, um, did uh, <laughs> one of the strangest books I ever read was a, a farmer's take on uh, uh, Tarzan, where Tarzan uh, fights a lion in the nude, and as he kills it, the excitement of the battle with the lion uh, causes him to ejaculate on its bloody corpse. And I mentioned this in one other, <laughs> when I was talking about some other book, I don't remember. But it's kind of like that because, uh, uh, you know, it's it's got it's got some talk about sweating, groins and all this, but it's not overly explicitly sexual. Um, it's more about the uh, gory violence. Um, I, you know, I it's, it's, uh, I can't really give a can't really tell you how well the story is going to go this yet, but um, it is uh, it is interesting. It's fun to read. It's it, it reads really fast, like a, a sword and sorcery story should. I would have still rather have had it be a, a comic, um, but uh, there you go. What have you? Let's see some more. Uh... <laughs> they've even done. They've even done the map, like you're supposed to for your all good uh, fantasy adventures. Here's another gory cover for volume two. <laughs> uh, uh... Story continues with chapter four. Um, I'm gonna show off the pictures. 
like I said, I don't want to go into the story too much. There's, you know, um, sell swords, so you can, you know, if you're in, if you know uh, your your uh, sword and sorcery books at all, you know what that's going to entail. But they're they're flying through uh, a lot of the tropes of the sword and sorcery comics and books and movies. They're going through them pretty quick, so I'm not quite sure how this is all going to end up. Um, like I said, I, I, I don't think it's, you know, going to blow your socks off as far as sword and sorcery goes. I, I think it sticks pretty close to the, the, um, template, but, uh, there is a little bit of more sexuality to it than there usually is. Um, not not porn, like I say, but but you know there's uh, you know uh, there's a sexual component to it. Um, maybe they'll do a special all uh, all illustrations issue or something. I think if you're into this kind of thing, female barbarians, bloody barbarians, um, you know, uh, it's got elves in it. Uh, which are, you know, generally you're not going to find them in a one of Howard's original Conan stories that'd be going beyond. But, you know, it doesn't veer too far from his template. And um, anyway, <laughs> I definitely think if you're a short and sorcery fan, it's worth checking out. And, uh, um, you know, I, I might check out some more issues in the future. Okay, that's all for now.